In this session, you will discover two methods for controlling the display of geometry, level display and creating display sets. Level display settings can be saved to a view for recall later, allowing you to set up working views with various levels turned on and off, while display sets can be set quickly on the fly, but are more temporary. To control the display of levels, open the level display dialog. It is set to view display by default meaning you can individually control the display of levels in each view. Changes will be applied to the active view, or to a selected view, or to all views if the corresponding icons are selected. Levels can be sorted by the column headings. I like to sort by name and then by used, so that levels are displayed alphabetically and with all levels used in the active model shown first. The level highlighted in green is the active level. Selecting a level will toggle it on and off in the active view. The changes can be applied to all views using the icon in the upper left. Level display settings can be saved with the save settings and retained between sessions. They can also be saved as part of a saved view for recall later. Close the level display dialog. The second option is to create a selection set of the geometry that you want to work on or that you want available and then create a display set. This is a quick way to isolate the geometry you want to work on, but it is a temporary setting and cannot be saved between sessions or as part of a saved view. Create a selection set of the platform canopy geometry. Right press and select display set set. Now each view only shows the platform canopy geometry. The visibility of a display set is a view attribute. Open the view attributes for the top view and toggle off display set. Note that now in view 2 all geometry is shown. Right press in any view and select display set clear to clear the display set and view all the geometry in all views. Now that you have learned the basics of placing geometry in Open Buildings Designer, in the next chapter you will begin to define the building environment by defining floor elevations, a structural grid, and by adding a site model for context. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.